Hello guys, my name is Buzz and Bear, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a simple low ink tube tree in Rec Room. So, let's get right into this. Just before this video starts, I wanna say that this is an intermediate tutorial. So it'd be highly recommended that you understand the basics and how the Maker Pen works in Rec Room. You don't need a crazy ton of knowledge, but it should be noted that this is not the easiest. So first off, you're going to go into your Maker Pen, click right on the Create button, then go to your Palette, and have it on Shapes, and make sure you're on Tube. Then go into your Keller, and put your Keller onto Brown. Once you're on Brown, go into Materials, and have Wood Grain, and put your size at about like 700-800-ish area. Doesn't matter too much. Then make sure you have uniform shapes turned on in your settings. Have your tube radius at 0.25, your tube height scale at 1, and your tube faucet at 5. After that, 5 or 6 doesn't really matter. Then have it on smooth tubes turned off. We do not want those on because we are making an oak tree. So now you're going to grab the grip buttons on your controller, hold them both at once, and you should see these percentage numbers pop up. Go to 100% exactly. Now, wherever you grip in the air with your, with your controller with no maker pen, you should be able to grip midair and move around. So for our tree, we're first going to make a stump that is about half your player's height. And one thing you will know about tube is that if the lighter you grip when creating tube, the thinner and smaller the tube gets. So if you are pressing down halfway, it should get thinner. So now, um, build off of your stump and go up to a pretty reasonable height. Um, hard to say, but make sure not to have your tree too short. And at that time, slightly reducing the... Um, pressure on your controller and it'll make the stump the perfect size. It'll look like it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Now if your tree is off size, you can press the manipulate button and with that manipulate button you can now adjust where you want your tree to be with this little blue square. So we're going to build off our tree again and we're going to keep going thinner and thinner and thinner as we constantly go up our tree. And we should get to a point where it's just a nice small little tip. So now we are going to be creating our branches and we have to change a few settings. So go into your maker pen and go into your tube settings and turn your tube radius to 0.08. This gives us a smaller tube to make it so it is easier to create our branches on our tree. So go to about 70% up your tree and start using your branch or your stump knowledge to start making these little branches, making thinner and thinner and thinner. So you can keep doing that and if they don't fit on properly to the tree, you can manipulate them so they're inside the tree and it makes them look better. We can also add mini branches onto our normal branches. This just adds an extra layer of 3D and detail to our tree. So now that we are finished with our first branch, we're going to be creating another branch on another side of our stump or our tree. This is going to be using the exact same concepts and stuff as the last tree, making a big, long, thin looking branch with other branches on top of it. This just, we want to do lots of these all over the tree, so it adds a 3D realistic effect and it'll look good with our leaves later into the build. So 
So our branches are pretty short and not very big on this top part. So we're gonna have to make some big, longer, and thicker branches. We are gonna do these at about halfway or 60% up our tree. And we're just gonna be making these ones a lot bigger and a lot longer. And we want these ones to almost reach the top area of our tree or even reach it. Now with these ones, we're gonna add lots and lots of mini branches onto it, and then other mini branches onto those branches. This is gonna make it look really th 3D and very nice. So now we are going to do the exact same thing as before but on another side of the tree. This one's going to reach almost to the top as well and it's going to have lots of branches on it making it look really nice and 3D. And so now finally we're going to want one more big branch at the 60% mark one last time that reaches the top. We're going to want lots of branches on it just like before. So now we're going to be adding texture to our tree. So we're going to select our whole tree, every single branch on it, and we are going to clone our tree. And now on the second tree, we are going to recolor it. We are going to be recoloring the tree in a leather color. This should be just lighter than the color before. Now we're going to re-select this whole entire tree. Make sure it is glowing all green and you're not touching any of the other tree. Now we're going to move it so it is exactly inside our other tree. And with it still selected, we're going to press the manipulate button. Now there should be lots of these little squares around. We are going to edit these squares just so slightly that this light brown part is poking out of our branches. We're going to do this on as much branches and parts of the tree as we can. So we are just making it so that texture and that color is poking out of the branches just a little bit. And there we go, our tree should now look good with this new texture added to it. So now we are going to be creating our bushes, or our leaves. So go into your maker pen, and have uniform shades turned on still. Go to 0 0.25 to radius, have your tube height at 1, and your tube faucet at 10. And have smooth tubes turned back on. So we're going to draw a little bit, just a little bit of tube to the right or the left. Now, right here where it connects, you're going to start drawing again and turn it exactly in the other direction. Just like this. So it gives it kind of like a circle shape. And then again from the end, we are going to bring it back. And that should give us a circle, leaf kind of bush shape. Now we're going to press recolor. And we are going to use the color that's kind of this green called Terra Vert. I don't know if I said that right, sorry. And then we're going to press on dirt and we're going to recolor it. So we're going to want our size at same as before. So now we're just going to scale it up just a little bit, not too, too much. And we are going to clone this exact shape again and move it a little bit away. So now we are going to recolor this shape or sorry use another material and we are going to use particle board now that should give us kind of this glossy nice look so now we're going to go back onto create and then go into shapes and we're going to use ribbon now with our ribbon you're going to go back to the create turn on uniform shape just like before and just keep practically all the same settings you were just on now we are going to start drawing kind of randomly, just turning our maker pen a lot and just drawing around in this little area. Not too, too wild, but just giving little spikes and little edges everywhere, just like this. And I'll scale it up so it's about the size of our other bushes or leaves, just like that. 
And now we should be able to press clone and start cloning these leaves exactly where we would like. Just place them in between branches, on top of branches, all in our tree. And we can have them all connected and merged together just like this. And so now we can go back and grab our glossy leaf and start placing this in areas that we find important or looks like they need more texture. So just place these around in areas and this should give us a nice little different color of leaf look and I really like the way this looks. So you could just place this around in some empty areas. And then we're gonna grab our little ribbon from before and place this inside our leaves. Place them around everywhere. And this should give us a nice little spiky leaf look. So there's little leaves poking outside of our tree. So I'm just gonna add a few more leaves right here in this part because it looks pretty empty. And it looks like we could put some more leaves there. And that's looking pretty all right so far. So yeah, here is how our tree looks at the current moment. So now we can select all our leaves and tree stumps and branches together. So just select everything and merge it. Now, we can scale our tree up or down to how we like in size, if we think it's too big or too small. After that, we can assess if we want more or less branches. If we do want more, you can press edit and then click on your tree. And now you'll be able to clone these again everywhere. So I think we need some more. And then if you want a lot, lot more trees, or leaves you can scale up your bush and add these in places where you would want more and this will really add and make your tree look like it's full and it looks nice And there you go. That is our simple, low ink, easy to make tree design in Rec Room. And our last step, step should be configure your tree and turn it into decoration in the physics mode. This will make it so there's less ink and it is way easier for collision so you can walk through it. So this tree costs exactly 0.7 percent ink so you could fill a room with lots of these trees and have lots of leftover ink so these are just really simple and easy looking low ink trees that you can make in rec room and that is my tree tutorial in rec room thank you so much for watching this video and if you enjoyed it make sure to like and subscribe to my youtube channel it would really be appreciated and if you want more terrain tutorials i am always here to help if you have any questions please tell me in the comments down below because i would be willing to answer any of them anyways thanks for watching